Welcome to another episode of the Cat Breeding for Beginners podcast. I'm Pamela and I breed British Shorthairs in Perth, Western Australia. I have a real passion for cat breeding and exhibiting and I want to share my knowledge and experience with you. I'm on a mission to help new cat breeders go from feeling intimidated, confused and having trouble getting started to confidently breeding happy and healthy cats whilst enjoying this amazing hobby. Before we get started, make sure you visit my website and download your copy of my helpful guide, Advice to New Breeders, where experienced breeders share some great tips they wish someone told them when they started breeding. You can find the link on my homepage at www.catbreedingforbeginners.com. Just look for the picture of Angelica with her kittens. We're going to be talking about stud cats again today because stud cats seem to be something that I have a bit of an area of expertise in. I've had a lot of stud cats over the time that I've been breeding because I do breed in a range of colours and in order to do that because those colours weren't available to me from other breeders I did have to keep a lot of boys of my own over the time that I've been breeding. So I have owned a lot of stud cats and I have loved every single one of them. They are you know wonderful cats. I love my boys. I love I British short hairs so they're all big boys um, I really do love them and I do absolutely appreciate what they've done for me in terms of the contribution they've made to my breeding now stud cats we know they don't get kept like other cats they get kept in special conditions and it's a bit different to a pet cat but you can absolutely still love them very very much and I want to talk to you today about about something that's important now I think people don't always realize that each stud cat is different. Each stud cat's an individual. And we have questions around, you know, why isn't my cat working yet? How come my boy's not interested in the girls yet? I've put my girls in with my boy and he's not doing what he's supposed to be doing yet. And this is something that comes up a lot. And it comes up a lot in my new cat breeders club. It's something that that we all talk about all the time because um, everybody wants to know whether their stud cat is right or not, basically. And I want to tell you that stud cats are individuals, just like all cats are individuals. All cats have their own personalities. They have their own shapes and sizes. They have their own ways of doing things. Every cat is different. Um, There is not one rule that's going to be applicable to every stud cat. Some stud cats can start working really, really early. And we know of situations where people have had cats and they've had you know, a brother and sister that they've been keeping, um, both of them, but they've thought, no, they'll be fine, they'll be fine. Um, And suddenly the female cat is pregnant. You know, cats can start really, really early, both boys and girls. Obviously, in this situation, it was both boys and girls. But we've also had situations, I know of one lady who was... um, had her new stud kitten that she was keeping. Um, She had him in with her breeding girls because she thought, oh, it's cute. He's only young. It's fine. Everything's good. And he got like a batch of, a bunch of them pregnant all at the same time, just like that, because he just started working. She didn't know it was happening because it was happening. She didn't see it happen, didn't hear it happen, but they were pregnant. So they can start working really, really early. And then we have situations where other breeding boys just actually never work out what to do and I know that everybody's thinking oh my god what what is this what is this what's going to be happening with my cat is this why my cat's not working no this doesn't happen very often at all but there are cases where that just never happens and it can either be you know some breeding cats it might be they never actually work out what to do and other breeding cats they know what to do but they never actually manage to get a girl pregnant Um, I can think of one cat that came over from overseas at extremely, a huge amount of money was spent on this cat um, to bring him over. And when he came over, yes, he could mate the girls, but he never got a single cat pregnant, ever, never, ever, ever. Um, Lots of stuff was done, lots of testing and things were done, and it just never happened. So there are cats that are going to be like that as well. So there's a spectrum. There's a spectrum of the the kitten that it manages to get a girl pregnant through to the older cat that's never been able to mate anyone or has never got a girl pregnant. There's going to be different extremes from one side to the other. But in the middle of that is going to be your cat and your cat's going to be able to work it out eventually. He may be taking his time. He might not have the right girl. Um, He might be better with a different cat. You know, there's lots of rules and things, not rules, but there's lots of ways that you can change things up and work out maybe that there might be something that you can do differently. But also you can just wait and he'll work it out eventually. Now, I have boys at the moment. I have a boy who's two years old and he's mated. He's got on. 
he just hasn't mated anyone. Um, he's only been with the one girl though. So next season I'll try him with a few different ones and hopefully he'll be ready to go by then and we'll get somebody pregnant because I really would like to have some kittens from him. Um, I have another boy who was quite young when I first used him. He was, I think, uh, 11 months old and he got he's he's had a couple of litters now he's been really good and started working really early it really does depend on the cat um so i want you to be patient i want you to not stress i don't want you to worry that it's something that you're doing wrong because it's not it's just a matter of it will happen when it happens and if it doesn't happen or if it happens early that could happen too (laughs) but i don't want you to be stressing about that i want you just to be patient and just to let your boy get there when he gets there so that's a little bit of a tip about stud cats and i'll have more for you um coming up i guess because it's something that i always end up talking about and it's a really popular topic um within my new cat breeders club so i love sharing information about stud cats i really do um stud cats are probably something that i'm really passionate about making sure that they have great lives and that they have um you know that they're well cared for and that people treat them really well because they don't often you know it's very easy for them not to have a good life and I really want them to be well taken care of so I am a little bit passionate about stud cats and if you have any questions about stud cats make sure that you put them in the comments because I'd love to help you with them um, and answer your stud cat questions basically okay thanks guys Thanks for listening. Make sure you visit www.catbreedingforbeginners.com where you can find articles, guides, courses and more. Plus, make sure you check out my amazing new cat breeders club. It's a supportive space where new cat breeders can learn, share and help each other. I only take new members a few times a year, so sign up to make sure you don't miss out.